before and just ask them, like, hey, what do you have pre-owned that you will guarantee? Because it's going to be a lot cheaper than buying a new piece of equipment. And I don't know if all the rest of you have looked around at, like, auctions and everything lately. There's a ton of equipment out there being auctioned off because how many companies just went under last year? So, I mean, it's not great for them, but yeah. it's worth it's worth the 15 minutes in front of Google looking and saving us possibly $50,000. Yeah, we did talk about going back to the original dealer, see if he could lean Thank on you. somebody. And also, if we end up having to ship it to Lancaster, I think Mr. Sweat's going to have to send some kind of a letter of explanation of an understanding. If they say they can fix it and we get it out to Lancaster, then they say ship it to Kalamazoo. You can always sell yours as a rare collectible. What's that? You said you can always sell yours as a rare collectible. <laughs> it is. The one good thing about it is it is fixable. They did tell me yesterday that the mower is fixable. We just got to find somebody to fix it. We have to find somebody who, who has a European. Fill it out as a rare motor. Yeah, it has the European codes to, to do. Pardon me? We don't know yet. They, they have no idea. We've already spent. Pretty good. Yeah, we spent money in that mower. Yeah. Yeah. We should just buy it. All right, so it sounds like we have a pretty good plan. Yeah. Go forward. Set